A big welcome to this short presentation from Nick at EBC Brakes to tell you some news about the quality brake pads we offer for fast street and track day driving. Basically, if you're going to the track, you have three pad choices. Lighter cars or occasional track day event drivers will enjoy EBC Yellow Stuff, our top selling compound that's street legal for most cars and a high friction aramid fiber based pad that beds in quickly. It delivers superb stopping power and can handle plenty of heat and abuse. Gordon Shedden, the 2012 UK Touring Car Champion, uses yellow pads in his Lotus Exige track car, and that speaks for itself. Next in line, our medium pad in hardness is Blue Stuff NDX. Slightly longer bedding times is what we caution here, with a need to apply the brakes gently over several laps with steadily increasing brake pressure gradually bringing the brake up to temperature and more importantly allowing the pads to cool after, especially before parking back in the pits. Always have a cool down lap with minimal brake use after bedding in new pads to avoid hot spotting your rotors. Blue Stuff is also street legal on many performance cars in Europe and if you're not in Europe then happy days, use these pads on any car and enjoy. Do not confuse this new Blue Stuff NDX with the early Blue Stuff grade, which was a much harder pad, and to be honest, in the wrong hands, early blue was not an easy pad to use due to its long bed in times. Our highest spec pad today for track use is the new Orange Stuff grade, a pad with an inverse friction coefficient that actually climbs as the brake gets hotter. But again, make sure you bed the pads in for three to five steady laps with gradually increasing brake pressure and allowing that all important cool down lap before entering pit lane. This is not a NASCAR pad. Orange is designed to be a three quarter hard pad for street based cars in track day and short race use of not more than 30 to 35 laps. Some common brake advice. Your rotors must be flat and smooth when fitting new pads or you'll extend bedding laps required by two to three times and have some scary moments doing that. Also, if you've been running a carbon based pad on your discs, you must clean down the grey glaze on the rotor surface with a fine abrasive paper before installing a non-carbon pad such as EBC or it will be like braking on glass and your brake effect drastically reduced. These carbon deposits ruin the brake effect on a non-carbon type material. Finally, if you have a street based car with standard manufacturer brake caliper, don't expect perfect results unless your calipers are sliding freely, the seals have been recently replaced and not causing drag and your brake fluid has been upgraded to a high grade, low water content fluid such as EBC BF307 with its 307 degree wet boiling point. Brake fluid fade or vapor lock is often confused with brake pad fade and they are two totally different things. Thanks for watching and have a great track day.